Yeah, September 16th, 2020. How do you plan? Your market bets go, well, P's at a little higher, about half. Uh, we're set off to have best models, but still up none. The less. You know me, I sure like to see them get above these moving averages and be on, keep an eye on the recent lows, let's say around 3,300 or so to make sure those continue to hold. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Same sort of action going on there too. As you can see, moving averages kind of rolling over in here, but a few big updates would fix that. Keep an eye on a recent low in here too. Russell 2000 really didn't do much yesterday. Pretty much flat, so eh, up a smidge in here. Sure like to see it get above this little bit of a uh, range. Most areas still look okay in here. Semiconductors coming back nicely, getting back above their moving average. Still see it a short or two though within some of these areas. As you can see, retail kind of looking like the overall market in here too. The good news is drugs and biotech continue to rally. They're back above the moving averages. These are the bow tie moving averages. So that's a good thing. I wouldn't rush out and buy them overall, but there are some selected stocks obviously rallying to push this thing higher. So what do we do? Well, just make sure you wait for an entry. So I think it's still okay to consider a short or two, but of course, only on entries. And as usual, honor your stops. Any questions, Dave? Dave, 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 Dave,